welcome back to the spider's web and in this video <coughs> we are going to be doing the bug burrs yes bug burrs that's these fellas so we're just doing a series of dry brushes um, so we just need a, a little CD palette rather than um, the wet palette for the time being uh, and the first colour we're going to be putting on is Rhinox Hide. So we'll do that. There we are. And I don't actually know why I'm using a palette for this because I don't normally when I'm dry brushing. Hmm. Strange. Oh well. Not to worry. So let's get some paint and I will dry brush 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 brush. And now we can go all over the fur areas with this. It's a heavy dry brush. Um, we can go over basically not near enough everything with this. Um, we'll be going, doing a separate highlight later on. Um, but I did. Um, that's what I'm looking for. I did the priming with a dark grey, and then I went over with a black spray um. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me and uh, we're just going to go over all the areas that is a fur um, if I won't go over all the areas of the bug bird that is actually the bug burr and not armour um, or weaponry and then we can go and lighten it later there is um, uh, there isn't much more we can do on this it's like, like the others an easy model to paint uh, not to get a good effect from uh, we're just doing basics to it because we're just basically trying to um, pick out detail rather than actually paint it and what we can do with just the application of a bit of a dry brush there we go so that's what we're going to do <clears throat> for these three um, I've done one I will fast forward the rest of it as I do the others that's one done as you can see there's I know you can't, probably won't be able to see this really well but there is a brown covering over that black but now as I say I'm going to fast forward while I do these other two and I will come back when they're done Just this hand, and I think the three 
book birds are now done. Um, I can't see any more to do, so that's basically it for the moment. For that anyway. What we need to do now is just touch up some areas that need doing. And by that, um, I mean just painting over black. And that will be the um, metallic areas. Because we're just going to do the same as we did for the um, hobgoblin um, fighters. So we're just going to just add a little bit of black to our palette. Okay, so the black's on the palette. <coughs> and now it's just a case of touching up all the areas that we don't want to be brown. We want to be black and um, because we're going to be using, as I say, a, um, a similar effect that we did on the hobgoblins. So, here we go. I know it's probably not one you can see really well. I'm just hoping you can see it though. And uh, the reason, if you're curious, and, um, when I did the fire cultist, I made a point of painting over the, um, the primer all in black rather than doing what I'm doing now and priming it all black and working with it that way. The reason being is because this one, the majority, is not going to be black. And if there was any issues I could touch up bits and pieces here and there and you wouldn't notice. Whereas if I'd have done that so the majority of it was black and I've made a mess so when I touched up you probably would see a difference in the black. So uh, well that's the reasoning behind it anyway. Um, I'm assuming that that is not a metal belt he's wearing. Well, this is some form of metallic thing. Um, next is the leg. In protectors. There we go. And one more. Right. It's just in case of picking out the areas <coughs> that we need to make sure are going to be black. Um, have an annoying little fly doing the rounds at the moment. So if you see something moving, that's what it is. A little bit there. And, uh, I'm going to do the club as well. Um, because all I'll do for that is just dry brush it in the metallic colour. And that's that. So that's all I'm doing for all three of them. I'm doing the same three, so once again we'll go into high speed mode and uh, we can get this done a little quicker.
and I think this is all there is now of uh, these as you may notice I went back to the first one because I forgot to do that piece of uh, armour on his uh, upper arm but I think that is all I need to do on this model and uh, that is it for the time being for that now what I want to do is dry brush the armour and uh, for that I'm going to use a slightly different colour than we did for the um, Hobgoblin fighters um, rather than using um, a plain silver I'm going to use something a little different um, I usually use it as the base coat for um, metallics but for this one I think I'm going to use it as the actual main colour and that colour is Warplock Bronze I do like this one we'll see how it goes so we'll get some on our palette no no we'll get some on the palette we'll get some on our brush we'll wipe some off and then we can go down vertical stripes or vertical strokes rather not stripes and uh, just highlight the areas that we want metal if you go on to any of the fur don't worry it is not a big problem with this character because um, we're going to be highlighting the fur a little more later anyway so it will be disguised if you do catch it which is one of the reasons why I'm using a brownish colour for this rather than the usual silver so that's basically that um, I'm going to go over the mall that he's carrying as well and later this mall is going to get another dry brush on the top of um, the silver colour which one I don't know as yet I've not decided but that is what's going to happen <laughs> So that's the first one done, let's get the second one done and then the third. sashes yet and the belt I don't think the belt is going to be metal but hey you never know <coughs> oh dear lord right so that is the I'm going to have to do something about this brush I think um, give it a clean I've got some of the masters so run it through that and hopefully it will help a little bit So that's that with the, the base coats and everything, almost. What I'm going to do now is using a little bit of a scrag brown, which you've seen before. Like this one. 
we're going to go over a little bit of the um, what is it? A little bit of the uh, fur. Okay, just making sure that that brush is a, a dry brush. And we don't want to. If there's any moisture on it at all, it will just completely ruin the effect that we're looking for. And we're just going to go over and these are the top areas that we're doing, we're not doing underneath. We're doing the areas that look as though they've been hit by light. it too dark or too bright rather I want a nice medium <coughs> look to it if you get me drift you can put another dry brush over the top in certain areas. We haven't quite finished yet, we haven't done the face. First one done on camera and then I will fast forward these ones. on each one of these and the metallics are done. Um, next we're going to be having a look and focusing on the cloth area. Uh, I'm going to do different colours for these. Um, and they're going to be f uh, fairly dark colours. So one of them we're going to start off with the fang. Okay so I'll put some of that on our palette. We don't want a great amount of this because it's only going on the belt and the sash. So I'll pop that down there. And get the one that we're using. I'm going to use this brush for the time being just to clear the uh, paint off it rather than waste it. There we go. And so we didn't need to put as much as we did on actually. But I suppose it will come in handy when we come to highlight. Um we need to just clean that brush off 
and get the one that we're going to use to paint with. And we'll just go ahead and block in the colour where we need it. There we go. So that's one of them done. I think that ah, not, not quite. I'm going to do that in this as well. There we go. One of them done. Next one will be um, done in the dark green which will be Caliban green and just pop a little bit of that on our palette once again I don't want to waste any of the paint so we'll just do the sash using this brush and you can see I'm not um, I'm not putting this on fast forward because I'm using different colours and I want to tell you what I'm using as well as show your painting so I may as well um, Leave it running at proper speed. That's that done. And now we can get our more detailed brush we can come in and finish off some of the hard to reach areas. Next, um, I'm not sure what else to do now. Um, mm, I don't want to go for red because that's an obvious one. Grey. Let's go grey. And this grey that we're going to be using is Eshin grey. So I'll pop some of that on the palette. There we are. And we'll get this on using the brush as we have done with the others. There we go. And that is that for the uh, what we'll give her for the bugbirds for the time being. Um, I think what we are going to do next is, as I said, I wanted to do a little bit of um, a little bit more. High, uh, well, sorry, I want to do the skin of the, um, the creatures and for that we're going to be using rat skin flesh and pop some of that on the palette now there's not much skin on this so we'll just work through what we can see. Okay, so obviously the face. And the ears. Uh, 
Um, We will be getting a wash to darken it down. Just a little bit. Just the skin, I'm not doing the whole model. Just making sure that every little Crevice is filled in. There we go. And No, I'm not going to do that. There we go. You make a mess with something. That's how you shift it. Four feet. And then you can come back, dry it off, and it's as good as new. Simple. So I'm just once again. I don't think I did the back of the ears. On the previous one, I'll have to go back and double check on that. Uh, so what I've just done, no, I haven't. I'll just do those now. Here we are. And That's basically it for the skin. Um, there we go. Just make sure there's no bubbles or anything on this. And now we will do what I was saying I was going to do, which is just add a little bit of extra highlights to the flat, uh, to the fur. And for that, I'm going to use just a little bit of Balor Brown. Not a great deal. Not a great deal. So it's this colour. I don't want to be a super bright. Uh, mix, but we're going to use a bit of that into what the rat skin flash, not the rat skin flash, the um, oh dear, what was it? The scrag brown. Just to make it a little bit darker. So at the moment, that was just too too bright, and it's not what we want. And it's just a case of over the top areas. Mm. 
actually we have more to do on the skin because there's the hands as well I'm just washing out the brush and make it dry again because it's still a little bit damp that seems better back into the mix that we've just done and I've just realised that the palette isn't on camera, sorry about that um, but the mix is just a case of add it to and just however you feel I just wanted to dark I just wanted to darken the um, the um, oh heck, what's it called? The yellow brown. And what is that liquid from? Right, so I just need to add a touch of, I'll bring it over now, you can see what I'm doing. So it's a touch of the Scrag Brown in there. Clear the brush off. And then, once the brush is cleared, we can dry it. Get the ball all brown out and add plus that. I'm not, it's not anything special, you can do whatever, however you want it. Okay, and then we can just waft over some of the higher areas. Just to give it that extra bit of high weight. That's still a little damp on the mic. I think I might actually go over everywhere with the wash now. Might be the easiest thing to do, and then when we come back, we can start adding the highlights to the um, metallic areas and the sashes. So the highlights, the highlights, the wash we're going to be using is one we haven't used often. Agrax Earthshade. <laughs> haven't used often, my fault. So we'll get our our brush. Put these to one side and then all over the flesh and the, oh, not the flesh on the hands, hang on. Oh, never mind, I'm going to have to carry on now. Start it washing. It's going to dry funny if I don't. Oh well. just cover everywhere this in fact what I'll do is I'll come back again and do all the hands Some back at this for game of soldiers. Let's go over everything. Of the Agrax Earthshade, we'll put that to one side 
and go over the on, on with the next one. It will give that interesting look to it once we've um, done that bit of the sash with the green. I will do that again later once this is dried. So we're going to have to come back and give it another little bit of a wash. I'm going to do this bit, these bits off camera. You've seen the basic idea, but it's just the hands that I need to um, to paint. And once I've done that, I have to uh, give them a wash so they match up with the rest of the mini. And uh, doing that on. Um, so that's another video on doing that. We'll have to do a little bit, wash it, and then um, wait for God knows how long until the wash dries. So I would sooner just have it all ready for you when we come back. So when we come back, these will actually be slightly different um, to how they are now. The hands and the little sashes that I forgot to do there will be done, and uh, it will all be ready for the final lot of highlighting. So, with that being said, that's all for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, when we finish these off, take care, God bless, and bye.